Hey guys, Eerie is here. I hope you're all having a good week, keeping safe out there, and thank you for choosing to join me here on the channel for another video. Now, if this is your first time here and you like watching all sorts of sim racing related stuff, then subscribe now and click the bell icon as well so you get notified of every video I upload and you don't miss a thing. So you join me here back on iRacing. And sorry if my voice is a little bit croaky. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll see what time I'm doing this. And then I'm hoping you can understand. But we're back on iRacing, as I say, and we're still on a high off the back of our Nürburgring 24 success. Winning at Bathurst earlier in the year, and then the second at the ring the other weekend. Of all the tracks to get the results at, I didn't think it'd be two of the riskiest tracks in the world. Now, the reason I mention this is because if these are your thing, these team endurance events, the next ERT team endurance event is the 24 hours of Le Mans on Saturday, the 20th of June, 2020. But before that, in a couple of weeks, I am going full Lando Norris and taking on the Indy 500 for the first time on the weekend of the 16th of May, so in a couple of weekends time. Hopefully, I will not run into Pagano. But enough about the future, and back to the now. So you join me here in Quali at Sebring, back in the BMW 12.0 Fix Series. In a new livery as well, so a massive thanks to Theo Schlerett, aka Scene. I have put a link to his liveries page in the description down below for this livery. It has the ERT colours on it, and also it has all the companies who are kind enough to support me here on the channel, so it was really, really important that I made a point on that. I'm also going with the mic on the headset sound for the gameplay, not my usual USB microphone, so please let me know in the comments your feedback and whether I should go back to the previous mic. So my first attempt here in quality was a scrappy one, a 201.068, but once I had that banker in, as I always try and do in these things, I try and get a decent lap on the board first, I then could push a little bit harder. And as you see me hugging the barrier here to take the shortest route to the line, I managed to improve this on my last attempt with a 159.346, which was good enough for 8th in this one in the end. I was car number 19, so a good performance there in comparison to others in this split, and we have 7 laps to try and bring home a decent result. Now, I have set the scene for this one and introduced the race, let's see how we got on. Right then, here we go, qualified in 8th, car 19 in this one, a lot of people actually chose not to qualify, which normally indicates that they know there's going to be carnage, so we're just going to try and get through this first lap, even before this first lap, we need to get through this, the uh, pace lap. Formation lap, whatever you want to call it. Have no idea if this weaving does anything. But the main thing we're trying to do here is try and stop the tyre pressures. You can see it near gear number two on the left hand side there. We just want to try and stop those pressures from dropping. We've got a keen eye on that purple, sorry, that pink and that castrol coloured BMW up in front. Because they look like a risk at the moment. Uh, so we're looking at about seven laps. So obviously this is a 12 minute race, as I probably mentioned in the intro somewhere. Not sure if it's going to get dark. It was dark in a practice session that I did. Oh, that gets in mighty close. One thing we have done though, you will see we've got rid of that mirror that is in the cockpit. Couldn't be dealing with that, had enough to worry about. There we go, so there's contact there. They've hit each other, the two up in front. Thank you, Rick. <laughs> She's 
got to be so careful. And if this formation lapse anything to go by, I am slightly concerned. But yeah, we're just going to try and keep it clean. This track is hard enough as it is. to stay on plenty of bumps I've actually turned down my force feedback of my Simicube 2 Ultimate because it was basically shaking the camera it was shaking the entire rig the mouse even fell off the mouse mat and you'll see it as we're going along old airfield I think it's an American military airfield of some sort. Again, probably covered that in the intro. But yeah, very, very bumpy. And the curbs are absolute killers as well. So we're going to try and stay off those. Well, for the first part of the lap anyway. That's where the bad curbs are. So as we get ready to start here, slow and steady wins the race and to finish first first you have to finish as they say I imagine they're going to go now is anyone going to spin? no it hasn't even gone yet well let the safety car get out of the way uh, five wide going down the straight there This is what I'm talking about, so we've just got to be careful. There's a spinner out in front, two people have crashed. Car feels alright. Well, it does feel alright, but... Apparently... Doesn't like it. There's another spinner there. So it's a shame I got the meatball, because the car feels alright. But we have to come in and see. Cars absolutely everywhere. <laughs> absolutely everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to come in at the end of this lap. See what the damage is. I'm losing a lot of time, you can see, speed wise. So I'm going to try not to ruin anybody else's race either. But I think it might be worth finishing this one because of everybody who is likely to go off. Because whilst my race is absolutely ruined at the moment by having to come in, hopefully some others will quit before me because I've got to save some my rating. Again, the, pain, the meatball is so painful because, again, I feel like I can keep up. We're going to come in and see what the problem is. Tyres are probably going to be changing stuff so it will ruin the race completely. Oh, we've got fast repair. Did not know that. Maybe it's not all over. <laughs> right, let's see what we can do. Might be a bit lonely for a little while, but let's see what we can pick up. Good to know for future. I would have, uh, I would normally have called that a day. So as I say, we've got eight laps in this one. 
So there's plenty, if lap one is anything to go by, there's plenty of time for things to go wrong for others. We can pick up a couple of these places with car number 19 as well. So, even if we are in 13th, the relative hasn't quite updated yet. We still might be alright. Still got to concentrate though because things could actually go wrong for us as well. Here we go. Car stopped ahead. Multiple cars, beautiful. Not to wish ill on others, but you know, for for us, beautiful. Oh, you have a problem. Maybe a mental problem. I don't know. Some smack going down in the chat right now. So we get across the line. We are in 14th. So again, five places up where we were before. Still plenty of laps to go. is not over but this lockup was not good this guy's going to be all over us now oh, a bit out of rhythm through that oh what a moron that's me Oh. <laughs> Just completely did not anticipate how much tighter that corner was going to be. To be fair, this guy was probably going to overtake us anyway. did qualify in front of us actually, I do recognise his livery. So close there. He's car number 12 so he's got a higher eye rating than me. couldn't see the apex so I'm not going to, or the braking zone sorry, so the braking mark I should say so I wasn't going to go for that one. So many bumps. And it'll be interesting to know if it was worthwhile at the end of this carrying on. Car stopped. Ooh, picked up another one I think. Both catching that Tom, the 20 car. Just over halfway. It's getting darker. Let's try and get this corner right this time. You've got to take like a late apex to it. So you can get on the power nice and early. Which we managed to do there. Of course these GTE cars do not have ABS, so you've got to be mega careful on the brakes. You lock up, like that, you're going to be going straight on at the corner. Just 
just going to try and peek just to see that. Don't want to make a move at this point. Just be suicide for both of us. Hopefully, some pressure will do the trick. We'll see. That's what I'm talking about, the bumps. So bumpy. And these are the curves that I'm talking about. Everyone's take, giving these a wide berth. You just want no part of those, otherwise it's going to flick your car up, completely unsettle it. Be careful then not to hit him. So I did hit the brake harder than normal through the braking progression, hence why I locked up. I didn't hit him, I suppose, which was the main thing. In lap number five, so we've got a couple more laps left after this. He's gone deep there, and he looks like nope, he's just about kept it on the black stuff grey stuff in this case. Woosar. Take what the game gives you. You've already got away with one as well. By oh, that fast repair. Any more for any more through here? Pedro in front got awfully close. Right, this lap and the lap after. Last lap, give him a bit of blinding. The old GTE move, or the old GT racing move. go white flag final lap some blinding Let's see if we can pressure him into making a mistake by staying right up his chuff
Tom looks like he's made a mistake as well. Somewhere we're closing in on him. shot at this, which is going to be coming down the back straight. Don't carry too much speed through there. Right, this is going to be it. I don't think I'm going to be close enough. in those fireworks before. Oh, not going to be close enough. 14th it is. Could have been worse. Could have been far, far worse. As always, we're going to stay on board for the cool down lap here to have a bit of a debrief. So, wow, what a start to that one. A meatball, so that's the nickname for the black and orange flag if you didn't know. Meters after the start line on the very first lap. I'm glad I didn't give up though. It would have been very easy to on lap one of such a short race. But as I say I didn't, I came in for a quick repair, which I admit I didn't know was a thing in this championship, but it's good to know. And as a result we recovered back to 14th, therefore only losing 19 I rating. And part of the reason I lost so little is because, when I looked back, this was actually the top split. Which makes it even more disappointing, as I really wanted to test myself, and this was the first opportunity to do so against the highest level competition. But as I mentioned at the end there, it could have been so much worse. And whilst it was a positive recovery, I think a lot of you know me, and I cannot go out like that. So you may well see another video in a couple of days whilst I have another crack at this so make sure you're subscribed if you want to check that out. But for now guys that is the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please do hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. We also have merch too so go check out the Teespring store below and go get yourself some of that if you want to support the channel there. But thanks again so much for watching guys, stay safe out there and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.